So right now we're looking at sword play, which is the hey, secret hey, achievement party. for the hunter yeah. and hunted level. Yes, in the here, get your butt um, here. Once Larry over so here on, uh, gets a little it. altercation here. with the shop, there we go. Um, run over to the stand and pick up the katana. Now, for the achievements or challenges, uh, X marks the spot and moment of bliss. You'd usually go and just kind of hide up here, but instead we're going to climb down and then into the dumpster over here uh, by the staircase. So once Larry and the shopkeep make their way over, you're going to want to wait until he shoves the shopkeep down onto the ground to prevent you from getting spotted. Uh, once he's on the ground, it, he counts as an unconscious character, now, even though he does still have dialogue. If I was to happening. say birdie, then you would respond, what? Uh, you want roast duck? Wrong answer. <coughs> okay. So as soon asshole. as he's on the ground, hop go. out of the dumpster, put your katana, Once more and for then the hearing attack. Shazam! Oh, that looks like it hurt a lot. So that's the first part of swordplay. It's a stealth kill with the katana on one of uh, Wade's men. So part two, uh, as we're going to go through in the next minute, is to kill all three of them with stealth kills with the katana. Um, it's actually not as difficult as it may seem. Uh, it's actually pretty fun. So for starters, just go ahead and reload that checkpoint, and then basically just do the exact same thing again. Wait until the shop keeps on the ground, hop out of the dumpster, Wrong stab answer. Larry in the head. <laughs> okay, asshole. Here we go. Once more for the hearing impaired. Where's the... Katana! Sweet. Alright. That was satisfying. Awesome. Um, so moving on, next we're going to take on Bill. Uh, and he is actually, if you start making your way towards the basement where he meets up with uh, the Bad Lieutenant, or Lieutenant Bad as the challenge is called, uh, you'll find that once that interaction is completed, he'll actually leave uh, that area and then come down into this alleyway into which you originally sneak. I could use some heavy firepower. I got this uh, thing coming up. Yeah, like I give a shit. So once he approaches the alley and starts going down the stairs, you can just go ahead and casually just follow him down, make sure he doesn't notice you, make sure you don't get spotted by cops, uh, pull out your katana, and do the same exact thing to him that you did to Larry a few minutes ago. Just one nice, quick thunk through the back of the head. Great. Hide the body if you want. I think it's a good idea, because you get extra points for it. Or not. Your call. That's sword play. Part two, two of three. Uh, and then make your way over to uh, where Frank is hanging out by the gas pump. You'd normally blow him up uh, if you were going for the fire him challenge. Uh, but in this case, we're just kind of going to go sneak over to where he's talking on the phone. And we are also going to stab him in the back of the head. You do realize Such a family-friendly game, don't you? this is. Really just, really just teaches you great you? moral values. Great. And now he's dead. And we can just kind of be on our way. Now, moving on to part three, which is actually, I think, my favorite challenge in the entire game. Um, you're going to start out by going to the basement where uh, Bill meets up with the dirty cop. Um, but in this case, it's actually a better idea for you to eliminate the police officer so that when Bill shows up, he just kind of stands there. And he won't actually leave this area because he is waiting for uh, the police officer to show up, I guess or however they rationalize it in game logic. Point is, he comes here and then he doesn't leave. So it's good to know that he's just kind of hanging out there instead of just walking around the game world where you'd have to go and find him. So anyways, the cop is down. Take whatever you want out of this ammo dump. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. You can get an MP5. You can get some remote explosives, pistol ammo, a second silence pistol if you like. And then move on over this way. You can pick up the file if you want or you can leave it there. And then sneak up these stairs. There's usually a cop here, but he's around the corner taking a leak. So go ahead and take him out. And then hide his body, because... We're now going to get my favorite disguise. Bubba Bam! A chipmunk costume. Just a big, stupid chipmunk head. And a really fuzzy tail. Guy, he's so adorable, especially when he's going to be stabbing people, which yeah, he will in a moment. So go over here, wait for Larry and the shopkeep to go and do their business. And then 
completely inconspicuously in your giant chipmunk costume, take the sword, and head down into that dumpster uh, where we were a second ago without the chipmunk costume. All right, so wait for Larry to shove the guy down, and whammo, Chipmunk just stabbed that guy in the face. Well, not in the face, in the back of the face, but you know what I mean. Um, so that's the first part of Swordplay Part 3, and now it's just a matter of taking out the other two guys without getting spotted in this ridiculous, ridiculous outfit. Um, one thing that I should mention also is if you prevent Larry from killing the shopkeep, you'll also get the achievement, um, Two Wongs Make a Right which doesn't actually show up as an in-game pop-up. Oh, stab in the face! That's two. Um, but it will show up at the end of the level. So we just got Bill Dole, we just got Larry Clay. Swordplay Part 3 is two-thirds of the way done. Now we've just got to go ahead and deal with Frank Owens. So sneak back, or not sneak, just, you know, chipmunk stumble your way back over here. Climb on through that wall. God, he's so cute! He's so cute! and then just go ahead. You don't even actually have to stab him, in fact. I think we're gonna try something a little bit different here, just because we're wearing a chipmunk costume and it calls for a special occasion. And... Wait for the right moment. Wait. Yeah, the locals aren't talking. And... Yeah, they gotta be covering for him. Hacha! Yeah. Yeah, that just happened. Chipmunk threw a sword at a guy's face totally killed him. And now, since you dressed up as a chipmunk, go ahead and have some fun. I mean, when's the next time you're really going to be lounging around in a chipmunk costume? I don't think it's very often. So go ahead, make good use of those MP5 and remote bombs that you used, and have a lot of fun. This is undoubtedly the cutest murder spree I think anyone's ever seen. Uh, it really is the little things in life, isn't it? 